Well, sometimes the conflict between Mother Nature and the need to develop nesting habitat for waterfowl requires some special negotiations. Last month, at the popular Yellowtail Wildlife Habitat Management Area near Lovell, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department, with an assist from the U.S. Forest Service, took an efficient and effective route toward developing nesting habitat for the various waterfowl species that reside there. Game and Fish Habitat and Access Biologist Eric Shorma. Yeah, there's a shortage of brood rearing habitat and nesting habitat on Yellowtail, and essentially what it was was an unused cattail dominated river bottom. So we just created some open water for them to use for nesting. It's a lot more cost effective to do it this way, and it just so happened to work out that the U.S. Forest Service had some uh, explosives that were reaching the end of their shelf life, and we had a use for them. Yellowtail Habitat Management Area, over 19,000 plus acres, was established back in the 1960s through a cooperative agreement between the Game and Fish, National Park Service, U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, and Bureau of Land Management. While Yellowtail is known for pheasant hunting, the area also has its share of waterfowl hunting and viewing opportunities. This segment of the HMA is thick with cattails and too soft to bring in heavy equipment to dig holes. We're just trying to get some open water where there wasn't any existing before. Waterfowl, it's been shown, need a 50% open water, 50% cover mix for optimal brood rearing habitat. And so we're just trying to achieve that. Hopefully we get birds using those, those wetlands and producing more young, which will in turn create more hunting opportunities for the public. Some waterfowl species are reluctant to nest within view of other waterfowl species, and this compromise, as it were, provides them additional spots to raise young. The end result and the benefit for hunters and other wildlife enthusiasts is more opportunity for all to enjoy. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.